Hey everyone, it's Graphic Back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about glyph stones. These things are massive money makers, and I want to talk about where you should be farming these and which ones you should be farming. So today we're going to go through the price of each glyph stone, where to get them, why you need to be hunting these, and maybe you should continue to sell these while the demand is so high. As the demand continues to go lower with people getting their glyph stones and getting their rune glass gems, then you can start to buy. And I think that's the one thing to note here. Sell now, buy later. It's going to be one of those things in the market that's going to continue to drop in value like everything else that came into the market, like the Golden Scarabs, originally 25K, now at 7K. So the water glyph stone is first. You can see here 89 gold according to El Dorado. We're going to use one server for all of the listings just so it's kind of consistent. El Dorado has them at 89 gold sell price. That's not too crazy or anything, so we're probably not going to spend too much time hunting these. But if you were to hunt the Water Glyph Stone, it would be in Serpent's Pass. So that's the first glyph on the list. There's going to be a lot that make you a lot more money, so just keep that in mind. The next one we're going to be looking into is the Sun Glyph. The Sun Glyph is the next on the list that we are going to be actually able to hunt down in the Solarium Kefri. The Solarium Kefri is the obviously that arena area style place in Brimstone Sands, a very cool area actually. Uh, but the Sunglyph Stone is going to sell for about 400 gold a piece right now. So definitely do these runs each day. If you go into that Solarium Kefri area or spot and just at least get those chests opened up, you're going to have a chance at 400 gold pops from the Sunglyphs. So very, very strong there. The next one up in line is the Strength Glyph Stone. The Strength Glyph Stone is one you'll continually find in Heliopolis. So in my opinion, this one's going to continue to tank very, very quickly. There's so many people non-stop running Heliopolis, and there's also people non-stop killing these mobs. So this Strength Glyph Stone, day one, I think, day two even, I sold these for like 1,000, 2,000 gold apiece. Now you're seeing them at 80 gold. I think it's going to continue to drop. So watch out for the Glyph Stone of Strength. So far, nothing too crazy that you want to farm every day besides the obvious daily on the Sun Glyph Stone and the Kefri. But the next one in line is going to be Shadow, which in my opinion is one of the better ones to farm because if we take a look at the Shadow Glyph Stone, which uh, it takes a second for me to type just because I am trying to keep my mouth in the microphone, but you can see here 777 gold for Shadow Glyph Stone. So this one's worth something and it's from the Beds of Tijibet. So this is that Beds of Tit, or sorry, Tubbit Jet which is kind of an annoying place to be, to be honest, just because of all of the, I think you have, you can get acid there, you can get blight there. We've been there many times with my group and it's not a fun place to be, but it is 780 gold per shadow glyph stone. So it's definitely worth farming if you're looking for gold. Also, we have the sealed glyph stone, which is another glyph that's going to be commonly used. It's gates of Satika. Setaka, I'm going to spell it out because I'm probably saying this when I'm butchering it wrong, but it's gates of S-U-T-E-K-H. So if you want to get or hunt this one down, you definitely can. So sealed glyph stone is what it's called. It's going to be $89.99 in coins. So nothing too crazy there, just 90 gold. So probably not going to spend the time to hunt that one specifically down. Next up, we have the river glyph stone. This one is going to be found in Wadi El Sabek. This one's only nine gold, not worth running for. Just going to continue to mention it because it is, in fact, a glyph stone. The next one's going to be one you should definitely be going for. It's the night glyph stone. This is the ordeal of the scorpion. This is going to be up there in the top when you kill the, the boss, basically that scorpion at night. And you can see, actually, I'm going to do it for this one. I'm going to switch servers because that was a pretty low price. I see these, look, so Valhalla has them up for 1,160 coins. Depending on the server, some of these can be very, very different in price. And I knew Knight Glyphstone would be one of them. So Bari and Valhalla both selling for over 1,000 gold. This is one you should definitely farm in a lot of different servers. And one thing I'll note is most of these are going to be kind of similar across servers. But if you see one that's worth a lot of money and, you know, I say you should farm here, Definitely check on your server before you start farming. Make sure it's actually worth something on your server. Or maybe it's a rune glass that you want to, or a gem, you know, a rune glass gem that you want to craft yourself. So there's kind of a win win there in case the price does go down. So next up, we have the Mountain Glyph Stone. So the Mountain Glyph Stone is going to be next in line with 780 gold from Valhalla. And it's actually going to be a place 
where you can go to Dio Spoolis, and that's going to be the spot where you'll hunt these down. Like I said, remember these glyph chests, all chests in general, really. And then the big thing is you're going to want to kill the bosses as well. They drop it all the time. So Gift Glyph Stone is next in line. Let's type it in gl Glyph Stone or Gift Glyph Stone. It's going to be 155 gold. It's going to be from Hermopolis. So Hermopolis is going to drop these Gift 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 glyph stone sorry and it's definitely worth hunting these guys i'm telling you it's very very simple and easy drops that happen quite a bit so it's crazy that some prices like el dorado has it for 500 gold still so definitely like i said check out which one's going to be worth the most to your server and take advantage next one is from the castrum victualis this is food glyph stone this one's not worth as much on a lot of servers, but here in Valhalla, it's worth 1,875 gold. If you go to Marama, it's going to be 900 gold. Bari's going to be a little lower, I believe, at 180 gold. And then El Dorado, 2,000 gold for the food glyph stone. So if you're in your El Dorado or you're in Valhalla, or if you're in some of these places that have such high values on this, definitely take advantage. Castrum Victil Victulus, I should say. Um, and I'll throw I'll throw these up at the beginning or end of the video, the, the screenshot of the location, the icon, and the glyph stone, so you guys know exactly where you should be hunting these. So next up in the list, uh, in the list, I should say, we have the destruction glyph stone. Destruction glyph stone is one that a lot of us have been getting nonstop, and I bet this price has continued to drop, and it has. It's at 200 gold now. Uh, it's one that you farm quite a bit at Castrum Principium. It's that bottom left elite zone that is just crazy, nonstop mobs. So a lot of you know elite areas are getting ran more and more now, more often. More people are ready for them, and I think Castrum Principium is definitely one of them, and I think this destruction glyph stone is going to only go down in value, so probably not a great one to go for out of all the ones we listed today. But I want to go to the next one. We have two more left. It's going to be the Chaos Glyphstone, which I believe Chaos Glyphstone is one of the lower ones when it comes to the Glyphstone prices. We can see here 73 gold, which isn't too crazy. Marama is selling it for about 12.25. And US East uh, Valhalla's is only 23 gold. So nothing too crazy there at all. But then we have Westwall Nebet Het, which, by the way, Westwall, if you don't know, is one of the best places to farm in general, just because there are so many chests. There's so many actually different mobs that spawn as well when it comes to bosses and great boss drops. So the above Glyphstone is a fairly cool one here because look at this. We have the price of the above Glyphstone at 190 or sorry, 166 gold, which isn't too crazy. But if you continue to swap servers here, you can see 400 gold there in Bari, Marama's at 450 gold and then us east valhalla is at 167 gold but the main focus here is to continue to save these up and then sell them at the end of the day because these prices are going to continue to tank with people doing these elite zones and that's the case like i said with pretty much anything new in brimstone it's all going to go down in value unless there's a hidden patch that nerfs some of these drop rates i don't see it happening with glyph stones i think glyph stones are in a good spot I think a lot of these are going to continue to drop in value, so they're more valuable um, to players when you know you don't have so much gold. You need to really continue to buy these up at low prices, which I think is going to be later on, maybe you know one two months from now, you'll be able to buy these for such such low prices. I'm talking twenty gold a piece if they don't nerf these, uh, you know, if they don't nerf these drops. So that's going to be every single glyph that we just talked about, and it's going to be all of their different locations. They all sell for good amounts of gold. So if you want to farm these, definitely go for it. Some definitely worth more than others as well. So find out which one you want to farm, find out where it is, and take advantage. Thanks again for tuning in, making sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on as well. If you guys are interested, we do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGraphGuy. I'll see you guys all in the next one.